my name is Gavin Dalgleish. I'm the Group Managing Director for Elova Sugar Group. Uh, we're uh, based in six countries in Africa. We're the largest sugar producer in Africa. We try, to the extent we can, create prosperity around our businesses um, and every opportunity we get to vertically integrate and grow more businesses in those countries will certainly take. Um, we have a sugar mill in Tanzania that was built in 19, the 1960s by the Dutch, interestingly. Um, and it's surrounded on four parts by um, national parks. I'm not sure you'd ever get permission to, to, to build a sugar plantation there again. But what's really quite neat about it is that it's a very isolated community and all the economic impacts from around that mill come from our business and the value chain we've created. And there's simple things that people observe. You know, the children who go to school in our area all have uniforms. We have outside our factory, which is literally in the middle of you know, the African jungle, we've got four ATM machines, for, you know, satellite linked. Um, we have hospitals, we have markets. And, you know, the local people observe that in our, the area of our business, um, the ladies drive bicycles. You know, in the rest of Tanzania, they generally walk. And the men folk ride motorized uh, motorbikes. So, you know, it's just these, these small levels of social upliftment that mean the world to people in terms of their own personal dignity. I think in going through that analysis process of understanding the end-to-end -end linkages, you can often unlock general enablers in an economic environment that will make all business generally more successful. So I think you know logistics infrastructure, roads and rail networks, uh, cold storage chains, and just trying to develop capability in that value chain to deliver very simple tasks very accurately, like transport, delivering routes to markets. I think generally you get a whole economic upliftment that is to the benefit of business.